going on everybody dj trying to have a beard here again welcome back to the channel today we got 73 mods of testing for pc we got five mods of testing for consoles giants put out a new video for patch 1.3 does it show us anything new Plus, we got 10 modders to talk about today and four maps, I believe. So let's jump right in. Even with so many mods in testing right now, 73 in PC testing, which is really just stage one, and five on console testing, which is stage two at the end of the day, we've still got some pretty cool stuff in testing, at least in the first stage. We've got the Alice Chomber 8550, which I know a lot of people will be excited about. Quite a few Case IH mods as well. We got their Eagle Hotel 2500, as well as the Patriot 350. We showed that off over the weekend. Check that out. We even have the 1660 and the 1030. I'm not exactly sure who's making those, but I'm really excited to see those smaller combine harvesters. We also have the front loader axle or front loader axle remover. This is a really nice mod to have, especially on PC. Your front axle will lock up when you're using a front loader, and sometimes it'll make you tip left or right. You could fall over. Great to have that one. Even the JCB Telechuck. And we got the John Deere CP770 and CS770 Cotton Harvesters back in testing. Another one that I want you guys to take a look at is the Lizard Self-Made Tow Truck. Wonder what that could be. Massey Ferguson 1200 and 1250 are both back in testing today. As well as the Refresh Contracts for PC, one that I use a lot. And lastly, the last one that I want you to really take a look at is the Trailer B Train or By Train Cotton Bales Auto Load. You can load up, I think it's about nine cotton bales round. It's going to be great for all platforms once it's released. In addition to all of the mods that we have in testing today, we've still got 920 of them sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is 16 work days. Giant Software released a video over on TikTok a few days ago showing off some of the stuff coming with patch 1.3 and a few things that we did not know about as well. By the way, one thing we also don't know about is when it's going to be here. We have no idea. I was guessing tomorrow, but... That is so unofficial, it's not even funny. Uh, the two week window was up on Friday. Either way, the video that they had shows off of the equipment and a few clothing items as well. I'll leave the video linked below if you would like to check it out for yourself. But unfortunately, it doesn't show us anything new that we didn't get or didn't know about already. It's just kind of a hype video. Uh, we do have that branded clothing, so that's kind of cool. 82 Studios got a few things for us today, starting out with the TLX 2020, which many of you have been waiting to hear about and waiting to see. Well, the truck is pending release right now. It's great news, right? Well, there's a caveat. Patch 1.3 has to be released first. There's an issue with the current version of the game, but 1.2, where if you buy a vehicle, then an attachment or trailer, and you don't get the customization shown at the time, due to there also being a problem with the game, it will crash. And it's very rare, but it's happened too many times. It's the reason that the mod was removed. Uh, it doesn't happen every time, but it's, it, be careful. Uh, we're just waiting on the next patch right now. As soon as the patch is out, we're going to get the TLX 2020. As for the TLX Phoenix, well, the truck did fail testing, but David fixed it and sent it back. It may not be on the testing list today, but it's still in testing right now. It's not going to be released until patch 1.3 is out, just like the 2020, as it triggers the same issue. And David doesn't want your games crashing. Or to Giants, so we're just waiting on patch 1.3. And lastly, from David, the Moed Zero Turn Mowers got a ton of work over the weekend and even got some big upgrades from what we saw last week. I think there's like a zombie version now. It's going to be wild. Uh, his live streams will be linked below if you'd like to check those out. Definitely check out the end of the live stream from yesterday. We'll timestamp that one for you guys. You can see everything that was done. The mod is almost finished, and then it's going to be Wood Giants for testing for all platforms. AMG Agri Modding have some great news for us today. They're going to be bringing back their massively popular Massey Ferguson 5400 series. It's going to feature a revised model, new details, and a brand new six-cylinder engine model. The pack has also grown a lot as well. It's not going to feature two tracks anymore but five separate model tractors he's been working on the 22 version or at least the current version that we're going to be getting since the original release of the mod back in august of last year which by the way we did a first look on thank you thank you thank you to amg agri modding for that option uh he is uh, put a lot of work into this and we should see some uh, new renders maybe soon at the time of recording this he's about 90 percent done with the modeling work and it's just texturing and XML work to do. He doesn't say if it'll be PC or all platforms, but his last pack was all platforms. Pretty much everything he does is for everybody. So I don't see that being any different here. EY Modding says his International 88 series has been completely retextured since the last time we showed it off last week. This was because a few things were not up to his standards and up to par, so they were redone. These screenshots are from the new textures, and the mod is looking good. It's a small update on this today, but 
it is great to see progress being made. I know you guys want to see this one as much as I do. One of the first mods onto the mod hub, the Cavernlin Exacta EL Pack Fertilizer Spreader is going to be getting an update. Although this is not a pack at all, uh, it only features one mod. It will be getting some new additions, including three more capacity settings to add to the 700 and 1000 liter version. We already have, but we don't know what those will be. We're also going to be getting a new tarp setup, rear hitch, and a wheeled setup. So when you lower it down, it doesn't just sit the mod straight onto the ground. You can move it around. The update will be with Giants awaiting testing very, very soon, if it isn't already. 40 Modding's got a little bit for us today as well. They've made a few updates to their Dooley Cane and their Cavernland mower over on Air Agri websites, airagri.net. They've added mass limit to the trailers, added a map hotspot to all of them, so you'll be able to see them on the map, and they fixed the wheels on the mower only on one wheel configuration though. So check those out if you haven't already. These are for PC and not for console. They said that they would be uploading them to Giants, but they have not announced any at all when any of their mods will be with Giants. And we've got seven different maps to talk about today, but we don't have a lot of information on any of them, just a few little things. So let's start with Holmacra, which is a logging map that was available in Farming Simulator 19 from Pixel Farm and NMC. Well, here you can see the new silo that's gonna be coming with the Holmacra 2022 version. We still don't know a whole lot about the map. We've seen a couple screenshots here and there, and we know it's gonna be getting some custom trees, but right now, that's all we know. Yes, and my modding team have released a few new screenshots of the Amelia extension for Mappa Italia. That's gonna be the new 4X version, which will be PC only. They're not gonna be sending this one off to Mod Hub either. I think they're just gonna release it on third-party sites. Uh, here, you can see some new areas. They say new scenarios, which I believe I um, mean, just new areas in general, new roads, and a lot more. The map is under strong development right now. They are working super, super hard on this one every single day. And they say soon we'll have some new information on it. And hopefully very, very soon we're going to be getting some videos on it as well. Again, this is PC only, and I don't think it's coming to Mod Hub either. So I know I said it was going to be six maps. Turns out it's only four. I'm just really bad at math. Next, we have new olive groves, and they say much more. Work in progress from Nikki Farm and Bebster Emily Pepe978 has got some new olive grove for us today. Uh, I wish I could tell you more. We have no information whatsoever on this, but it is really cool to see. Additionally, it looks like there's going to be a tow bar added from Pepe978 as well as he's posted this screenshot right here showing a tow bar. I think this was the same tow bar he had in Farming Simulator 19, at least on PC. The coding, as far as I know, is still not there for console players. So just a heads up, you're not gonna see this on consoles either. Fortunately, we basically have follow me on console. Uh, so at least that's nice. Next to last today, we've got NLD Farming's Green River 22. Here you can see the grain mill AI. They say that it will be supported through the job list. So if you would like, you can have the AI worker sell things for you and take things to the grain mill and all that. This is pretty standard features at this point for all things in Farming Simulator 22. And as far as I know, Giants are actually failing maps and failing mods that will not work with this setup. So make sure if you're a modder that you're adding things like this to your maps and to your vehicle mods as well. And lastly today, Lancey Boy says that he knows he told us that we wouldn't be getting anything else until we got a video from him, but we got three more screenshots because he just couldn't hold it in. He said, here's one last thing, some more teasers for Stone Valley 22. A little bit of a cheeky winky face on there as well. If you played Stone Valley and Farming Simulator 19, you know that it is an absolutely beautiful and awesome map. He's also reiterated the fact that a few things will be movable around. So in 19, you couldn't move the shop around. You couldn't move some of the placeables around. You could delete the main farm, but only to a certain point. Well, basically the entire thing, including the main shop, is going to be movable and customizable, and you can take things and do whatever you want to with it on this version. It's going to use all of the standard features that we're used to in Farming Simulator 22 and take it up another level. It's gonna be crazy. Just like the segue to the outro, it's insane how it's always just so bad, wow. Who knows, maybe one day I'll have a better one. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. No release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. No release dates for mods. If I didn't talk about something you're interested in or curious about, or if you have the question, where is this thing? What happened to this thing? Well, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video on that thing. So all you got to do is refer to previous episodes that talked about it, and it'll give you the exact information that we still know now, if you have any questions about anything else, feel 
please feel free to put them in the comment section below. I should definitely not go off script. Uh, yeah, that's... That's it. Let, let's show his face again. DJ, where are you? Well, guys, that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new. Join the GoHam fam. Make sure his notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss any videos here on the channel. We've got some fun stuff planned for you this week, by the way, so stay tuned. Be Zeb, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. A few things have been brought to my attention this weekend about the news of mod videos. I'm going to be changing a few things up. Might be a little bit different. Hang in there.